Katie Joshi and I'm a writer and I'm from Leicester. I've been writing, I think overall for the past 10 years. Um, I got my biggest break through Penguin Books when I entered a competition. Um, 2007 that was. It was Penguin Festival Prize and Penguin were looking for 16 new writers in the UK. I wrote a story called Culture Shock, uh, which is about my father's experiences in Uganda and about Idi Amin and about his life and about Leicester as well. And um, so that's published in a book called From There to Here. This gave me the inspiration to write. My company is called KJ Productions and it's a voluntary organisation. And. Um, how I'm helping young people, homeless people, and any type of people um, is through creative arts, and it's through this production I'm doing. So it's to get like the more people involved, you know, like, the better, you know. And um, you know, it's all about helping people so they can come, they can get, you know, they can get work experience, they can gain. Like even if I'm doing the, you know, when I do the film. It's like I'd love it if you know young people came, homeless people came. Doesn't matter who it is, come down and if, you know if they want the experience, like see what it's like to do. You know, or if they've got an interest in the camera, what's it like to do a film? You know, and I suppose they can come along just to watch. You know. At the moment, I'm doing um, a stage production as well as a film called Dead End Street, and that's about four, five homeless characters. Who, um, who are all talented, but on the same token, they all have addictions. And the story is how they overcome their addictions by entering a talent competition. And it's about how this talent competition changes their life for the better. My dream is to open a creative arts center to help people with mental health and the emergency services. And to have it, and, um, you know, to help people with mental health through the um, creative arts. So to have a writer's room, to have a um, reading room, to have a um, studio in there. So, you know, bands from Leicester, local talent, can come and practice for a bit. And hopefully to have a uh, jacuzzi and sauna there. And um, it's just, and to have an arts room as well. So people with dementia, especially the older people that have dementia can come in and use the art room as a as art therapy and um, I hope to do this one day start off in Leicester and hopefully if it's a uh, success here to take it like to places like Birmingham London and hopefully one day if my dream allows is to go abroad I'm doing this to help like to you know like to help so many other people that can do with, you know, my, you know, like my help. So I'm doing this like a charity, and I just hope that um, you know all this becomes successful, and my dreams come true, and through that, other people's dreams will come true. And sometimes I think, oh my God, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? You know, what's it worth? But uh, you know, right? But I know deep down, you know, like the end result, which is the Great Watt Centre it will be worth it and when people are getting the help that they need and people that I can see you know that are moving forward in their life you know that's going to be the biggest thanks ever and all I say to other people that are doing writing music doesn't matter what it is anything creative acting doesn't matter don't be discouraged because one door shuts and another one opens if you're an artist whether it's writing whether it's painting whether it's music, you know, your passion comes first. And if you're lucky enough to get the big break, well, then you enjoy, obviously, like the money comes after, you know, but first and foremost, it is passion. Don't give up. Have love and compassion in your heart. Help people when and if you can. And keep calm and well, you know the rest. <laughs>